Hi, I'm Ovation Product Specialist Adam Turbiner, and today I'd like to show you a quick and easy way on how you can keep your Ovation guitar playing its best all year round. Pre-installed under the bridge pickup in each and every Ovation guitar are shims. And we'll get a close-up of these in a little bit. We install them because we honestly have no way of knowing the final destination of any particular Ovation guitar, whether that's a cold and dry climate or a hot and muggy swamp. Now the soundboards of all acoustic guitars react to humidity or the lack of. More humid seasons, the soundboard bellies up a little. In drier climates, it shrinks and sags down. Either way, your string action is being dragged up and down and that can make for a difficult guitar to play. By having shims available to add or remove, the player could adjust their own action anytime, anywhere, throughout the year and as seasons change. And you don't have to be a guitar tech to do it. We just need a few basic tools to go ahead and adjust our guitar. First, basic handheld string winder, the humble toothpick, and just a pair of pliers. Now what we're going to do is loosen the strings and remove some shims. It's very easy, and I promise you, if you do this two or three times, you'll be an expert at it. In this example, we're going to demonstrate the procedure for lowering your string action by removing shims. I've already loosened the strings. You don't have to take them off. Grab the pickup by the end and lift straight up, bringing the pickup out of its slot, guide it out from underneath the strings. There's plenty of slack on the wire, so you're not tugging on anything. And it's a single one-piece unit that's very robust, so you don't have to worry about breaking it. You can clearly see the shims on the inside. Grab your toothpick, guide it underneath a few shims, and remove. Now the next question I get is how many shims do I remove? And my most honest answer is if you do this two or three times you'll be an expert at it. If you take out too many shims and then you experience a little too much string buzz, simply reverse the procedure by adding in one more shim. There are three different types of shims. The brown come in thick or thin, and the white ones are tapered, a little thicker on one end, thinner on the other. Helps you fine tune the playability on your bass or treble side. So, we're ready to stick the pickup back in the slot. Drop that in. All we have to do now is tune up the guitar and test it. And again, if there's a little too much string buzzing, we went a little too low. Simply reverse the procedure Put back one more shim. You'll notice that on this Ovation guitar we're using the Thin Line series pickup. The procedure for raising or lowering your string action by adding or removing shims is identical to the high output pickup we were working with earlier. The one key difference important to point out is the Thin Line series pickup is a two-piece pickup. We have the saddle, and the pickup. And it's not uncommon that when you're trying to remove the pickup out of the slot that the saddle could become detached. You don't have to worry you didn't break anything. They simply clip together. So to remove the pickup, grab pliers, Grab the saddle dead center, the strings have already been loosened, get a good grip and pull up slowly. Got one end out, so let me grab that, grab the other end, and in fact, we were successful in only removing the saddle, but we still need to get to the shims underneath the pickup, which is still located in the slot. I'm going to use a small screwdriver and I'm going to gently work it underneath the pickup. You get one of the one end of the pickup out, support it. In this case I'll just use the saddle. Guide it gently underneath the pickup. Apply a little pressure on the end to pop it out of the slot and we remove the pickup. So now we're ready to add or remove shims as we need. Important when reattaching the saddle to the pickup, take note 
of the compensated saddle. Make sure you orient the B-string notch to the correct end. Clip it back in. The saddle and the pickup are now reattached. We'll slide them back into the saddle. We're ready to tune up the guitar and test it. I hope this video helps you maintain your Ovation guitar in its best playing condition all year round. If there's something that you've seen that you don't quite understand, find me on Ovation Guitars at Facebook. If you don't feel comfortable with anything that you've seen, then leave it to a professional. From all of us at Ovation, thanks.